everyone, it's Amy, and today I have a story for you. Amy was, I'm speaking in third person, Amy was in first grade when she took a test and didn't do too well, and it was mathematics, and her teacher brought in popsicles. And you might be wondering what is going on. You'll understand. Her teacher said, Class, whoever did good on the test will be able to get a popsicle and eat all of it. But if you did really bad, uh, you will only get one bite and you will have to throw it away. And guess who had to get a bite and throw it away? Mwah. So basically, I am very traumatized by that moment and I have never gotten to eat that type of popsicle ever again. And I didn't even get to eat it. It was one bite and I had to throw it away and it made me really sad. So I went out of my way and I bought said popsicles. Jolly Rancher Popsicle from the original brand Popsicle. I was six and I am traumatized by that memory in first grade. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat one. Ooh, there are two. I have never gotten to eat another type of popsicle like this ever again because my parents said they had too much sugar in them. And they are correct. It has 21 grams of sugars and three popsicle sticks, which is seven grams of popsicles. That seems like a lot, but it's fine. Ew. It's so pretty in the packaging. What the heck? The heck? Anyways, basically, I've only gotten to eat this once in my whole entire living. I'm almost an adult. Why not go back to my roots? From when I was a child, and get my revenge on my teacher by getting two bites. As I said, I'm very traumatized. And ew, this is gross. These are very small. I thought these were bigger. Oh, there's a joke on it. These aren't the exact popsicles. So technically it's not my revenge, but these are closest to it. They're called scribblers. They're from the same brand. Ow, brain freeze. They have the same like layers. This, that, that is scribblers. Let me tell you a joke. What would you eat when? I will say this. And I'll tell you the joke. Don't worry, it's so funny. Look, right here, right here. A whole lot of I will tell you. Oh, let me tell you a joke now. What would you eat while watching a scary movie? Ice cream. It's so funny. Okay. Ew, it's the same flavor. But there were more. So anyways, I have more stories about my past. And that teacher specifically. When I was in first grade, I was a very bad person. And I was a rebel. So, story time. In first grade, I have a lot of stories because that teacher hated me, I'm pretty sure. There was one time when one of my friends, let's call her Sarah. Sarah had a birthday. And usually there is a tradition where people bring cupcakes and you eat them during class, right? And usually that stops around sixth grade, seventh grade, I don't know. So, she brought him cupcakes and I was like so glad. I was like, yes, I get a cupcake. And and my teacher was like, Sarah, ask someone in the class who's smart if they can help you. Ooh, burn freeze. I pass out the cupcakes. And I was one of Sarah's friends. So Sarah turns to me and she said, Amy, would you like to help me? And I was like, sure, Sarah. And this teacher looked at her, looked back at me in my eyeballs, in my, chi in my child eyes, okay? And she was like, are you sure about that? And she had the audacity of saying that? Because I was six, I've done nothing to her, okay? So then my friend was like, yes. And then she, I helped her pass out the cupcakes. But that was very rude of her and she should have gotten fired, but I don't really do anything about it. So it was fine. Let's well, hear another joke. What is your rabbit's favorite type of music? Hip hop. That's so funny. This is another gross color. This hurts my teeth so bad. I shouldn't have done this. I've also gotten bit by my best friend when I was in fourth grade. Let me set the scene. We are at a, a table in the cafeteria. Fourth grade, okay? My best friend, sitting right next to me, okay? And there's a little bucket. And in the bucket, there's ice, okay? 
but they also, they, like people put things in there that they didn't want to eat. So if they didn't want their milk, they put the milk in there. If they didn't want their juice, they put the juice in there. Okay, so there was this little juice box that was an orange flavored juice box and there was the only one left. And nobody was getting it. And usually when it's left in the box, you don't want it, okay? So you, you put it in there. So I was about to get it and I got it, but then my best friend grabbed the other end and then she like pulled it and I was like, hey, that's my orange juice. And she was like, no, it's mine. And I'm like, what do you mean? It was in a little bucket. And then she starts pulling it and then I start pulling it. And then I got it and then she grabs me. And I try to struggle, you know. And teachers aren't looking. They don't care. And then my best friend bites me. Because I got her juice box. And then teachers cared. Because then I got pulled into my teacher's classroom. But I was in the classroom. And I had a right. I will not fight with people over and over again. But then later on, her mom went to my house and apologized. Not her. And now we don't talk. I hope she's doing good. Also, this is not a brand deal. No money is being made by this, oh, brain freeze. No money is being made by this brand right here. But if they want to, they could. You know that Camp Rock scene from Camp Rock 2, right? Camp Rock, you know that part. Yeah, everybody knows it. Oh, there's another joke. What did the TV do at the beach? Channel surf. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. We were at recess and these girls came up to me and they were being kind of rude to me, right? This is first grade. A lot of things happened in first grade. They came to me and said I was lame. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Also, I was very popular because I talked to a lot of people. And I also got in trouble because I talked to a lot of people during class. Now I don't do that anymore. I'm very introverted and I have social anxiety. Oh, and these girls like started talking to me and I started talking back. And I was like, you know what? And I backed away and I got my group of friends, okay? And we're all like in a circle and we start doing Chinese checkers. It might be very racist. I don't know. We're doing that. Now I was front and center with my friend at the time. And so we finished Chinese checkers and I got in her face and I was like, you're the lame one. And I walked away. Is it bad that I don't remember second grade? I can't even remember the year. I was also bullied. Should I talk about it? It was kind of funny. Anyways, my status wasn't up there in third grade, okay? I didn't have that social studies. I was kind of below, but in third grade, there were these girls, and they used to call me names. And Pitch Perfect came out that year, so people started calling me Fat Amy. Like right now, someone called me that. I feel honored. Like the iconic Rebel Wilson portrayed Fat Amy, okay? So I will gladly take the role of Fat Amy if you think I'm Rebel Wilson because she is very talented, okay? I was on the slide. I was going down. And the, 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 the three girls came up to me and grabbed my arms. This was not a safe school, by the way. I moved to schools, okay? This is third grade. And so, Oh, I don't have a rope? I have a rope. Well, it has a hundred ears, but can't hear. Feel the corn. <laughs> funny. Anyways, they grabbed my arms. And I started taking me to this little fence, right? And schools usually have these really, like, fences, like, little thing. And they pin me up against the wall. And I, okay. One of these girls was like, get this kid. Let's call him Jack. His real name isn't Jack, just so you know. So if it's, you have a friend named Jack, don't worry, that's not him. You're like, get Jack to punch her. So this girl, there are still two girls there, so this girl left to go get Jack. And I'm, like, I'm getting punched. So I kicked the girl in the shin. And then I kicked her and ran away. And I was worrying. And then it was the end of the school year. And I was like, you know what? I should report this as bullying. So I did. And then my teacher pulled me aside. And he was like, yeah, I heard you were getting bullied. What did they say to you? And I told him all the things they said to me. And I was like, oh yeah, that's bad. But did you do anything to provoke that? And I was like, what? 
And then I was like, well, yeah, I kicked a girl, but that was like after, that was like a couple of months after it started. And then he had the audacity to say that it was my fault of getting bullied. And then I moved schools. And I hope that teacher had COVID. I do not hope, oh, or wish or pray, or voodoo at all any of that to any bad vibes to anybody. But that teacher specifically, I do. I hope he gets a splinter on his finger. I hope he gets a paper cut. But let's go back to my first grade teacher. She wasn't very good. But at one time, I was teaching this girl how to like, you know, do the little taco on your tongue? Like the little, that. Um, I tried to teach her that. But my teacher thought I was sticking my tongue out of her, like being a little rude. And then I was like, no, I'm just teaching her how to do a taco with her tongue, like duh because she didn't know how to do it. And I was like, oh, don't worry, I'll teach you. And I was like, you just gotta like, you know? And we had these little thingies where it's like green and yellow and red, oh, brain freeze. And it's like, like if you don't do good and get a warning, so then you put out yellow. And then if you get another warning, you put out red and you get detention. And my teacher said, same teacher of the popsicles said, put your little thingy on red. And I was like, I'm sorry. Did you said red? Look. Uh, so, where did the elephant store its suitcase? And its trunk. Haha. <laughs> it hurts. Nom, nom, nom. Because I still can't get the victory of eating the Scribbles Popsicle because I do not have the Scribbles Popsicle and there weren't any at Walmart. So, we have to adapt and do Dollar Rancher. I had a pretty strict childhood. I wasn't allowed to have candy. I wasn't allowed to have popsicles. I had to wear a uniform. Even though the school did not ask for a uniform. And that was also probably why I got bullied. <coughs> I need to finish this popsicle and tell the joke. I think I hear a Randy after this. Popsicles, would you like to sponsor me? Oh wait, no, no more than one. It's only one popsicle, not popsicles. I'm sorry, popsicle. Popsicles, would you like to sponsor me? I'm giving you a free brand deal right now. Oh, oh, misery. Oh, who sleeps with the shoes on? A horse. <laughs> okay, Miss Teacher from first grade. This is Amy telling you that I got my revenge. That I got to eat a whole popsicle. And it feels so sweet. So anyways, I might go into hibernation, I don't know. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do anything. But I would very much truly appreciate it if you did. And I hope you have a nice day. See you next time. Bye bye.